Okay, welcome back to GS4. I think I found the area. I found the stairs over here on this side on the final floor. Top. I haven't went through the door yet, so I don't know if it's right. Let's find it. Okay, we're outside. I think this is the right way. Oh, come on! Infrared. I need to restore my whatever that is. Okay, I made it. So that'd be interesting. Drop your weapon! Drop your weapon! All right. Here. E easy now. Turn around. See, you should have shot him right there. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Careful, it's... I'm no rookie. I'm a ten-year vet. Oh man. Uh oh. How the hell did you ever survive ten years? Don't move! Tell me you did. CQC. Real big boss, huh? Lower your weapon! Slowly now. I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. Oh, we know that's Merle, obviously. Fox. Snake? Okay, he's not wearing a mask. Snake. Merle. Is that you? Bullets for earrings, that's funny. into your face huh. accelerated aging they don't know the cause oh my god Merrill you're my informant in the US military and you must be the inspector sent by the UN Commander! What? <laughs> Sorry. This is Rat Patrol Team Zero One. We're with the CID, one of the bodies investigating PMC activity. <laughs> First hounds, now rats. Here, you can have this back. <laughs> Oh man, you know we're in the bathroom. You okay? 
Stomach pains. Diarrhea. Oof. You know, those images didn't reveal anything. I'm skipping this. I skip. The nano machines keep track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nanomachines and you too. Of course. Wait, I which one is Mero? Which one is Optimon? Same as everybody else. It was creepy at first. I can't tell I'm a boy. being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nanomachines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee? That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. That's just a stupid way of thinking. If tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons... I mean, you, anybody could just make a weapon and just use down. it for war. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they manage to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. And the Patriots are behind this. La le lu le lo. What are you talking about? Never mind. So this system is foolproof, huh? Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. <laughs> there can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway. Liquid would have had to register yeah, that a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. His PMCs might even exceed the U.S. military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the U.S. responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, Ooh, we can them down by force. I mean, also by force, huh? When Arsok heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. Disorderly conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover, inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs, and after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked him down.
time for some payback. When we reported that we'd found liquid, our superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with it. Yeah, I'm skipping this. Move! Alright, what's going on? Oh, I missed what happened. Alright, hold up. 